In this video, we will see how to use body for application of loads in MIDAS engine. Firstly, we can draw body objects using body tab. These body objects can be used for applying point load, displacement, pressure load, as well as line loads on beams, columns, slabs, and shear walls. For point load, we can sketch body point. The body points can be sketched in 3D plane or story mode. It's easier to do it in the plane mode. So we click on point and we can create point anywhere on our slab or beams or columns. Then to apply the point load, we go to the loads tab and go to the point load. We select the point and we provide the load value let's say minus 10 kN and uh, click on apply and continue or OK. We can see the load applied in this way on the flat slab in the display mode. Also we can see that load in the analysis tree menu under the static load set point load and the name of the point load. We can also use our body point to apply arbitrary point load. Again, we can simply select the point, provide a value and click on apply and continue or OK. So this is how we apply the arbitrary point load on our flat slab. Now there is a difference between the point load and the arbitrary point load. Let us perform the analysis first and see the difference. The analysis has been performed. We can see over here the mesh generated by the program. The mesh generated has taken care to include the point load. The point load makes the point to be included in the mesh. We can get displacement results at that point. It will be easier if we view this in the hidden thickness. Over here, this is our arbitrary point load. The point at which arbitrary point load is applied does not give result at that location. Moreover, there is a difference between the load distribution. The point load is at the node of the mesh slab and the arbitrary point load distributes the loading to adjacent nodes of meshed elements. Let us go back now to the body and sketch line. Lines can be again sketched easily using plane mode. So I'll go to the plane mode and we can easily sketch line on our flat slab. We can also sketch arcs. ellipses and circles and so on and on these lines and arcs or we can together term them as curves we can apply an arbitrary line load we can simply select our curves and provide a value the load value let's say minus 10 we can make it uniform or varying we can even provide a function of the variation of the loads and we can click on apply and continue or we can click on OK. In this way, we can see over here how the load has been applied on the lines that we have created using body objects. Similarly, we can go to the body and sketch faces. We are again in the plane mode, so I'll sketch a face. So this face could be of any shape of how much ever size we want to make it so here we have a face and on this face we can go to the loads arbitrary load and apply arbitrary pressure load simply select the face and provide over here a pressure value of 
let's say minus 10 kN per meter square. You can also provide a function type of value and click on apply and continue or OK. And this is how we can get the pressure load applied on the face. In this way, the user is free to apply additional load on a flat slab at any location. Basically, the body objects in Midas engine provides complete freedom to the user to apply loads anywhere on the structure without modifying or editing the geometry of the structure. We can see these loads that have been applied on the body objects under the analysis tree menu just by expanding the arbitrary point load, arbitrary line load, arbitrary pressure loads and so on. And in case we would like to make any modifications in the load values, we can definitely right click on the arbitrary loads and say load table and uh, we can modify the values. And this is how we can do the modification in the loads that have been applied using the body objects. This is how we can make use of body for application of loads in Midas engine.